how to create a feedback form using google hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i will show you step by step how we can actually achieve this it is completely for free and uh, google does offer a google forms option which we can just go ahead and create a feedback form from so just go ahead and visit google.com and then from here to access google forms you want to basically click on the google apps on the top right and then you can just go ahead and scroll to the bottom and then it's going to be in purple so you can find google forms here or just forms go ahead and click on that and then once this opens we can basically cl uh, click on blank form at the top left and we can just go ahead and start creating our form so here you would want to just give it a, tit a title so we can just go ahead and do um, uh, give us your feedback obviously i just you know this is just a test so uh yeah and then you can also go ahead and give it a description if you feel like it so add a description there you go and now we can just go ahead and get started with the questions so for example here uh the uh, question here we can just go ahead and set up uh maybe first to know who they are so we can just go ahead and do first name uh, and then in here, it's going to be automatically turned to short and, uh, answer text. But if it's not, so you can just go in and actually do it here yourself, where you can select which type of answer you actually want to have. So first name is going to be short answer. And then you, will, you can also specify whether it's going to be a required field or not. So for first name, we're just going to keep it required. And then to add another question, you want to basically click on add question here. And then again, we would want to also know them or get to know them and be able to reply to them. So we would also ask for an email. So just go ahead and set up an email and we can just go ahead and make it required. And it's going to be a short answer. Now, we can just go ahead and get started with the other stuff here. For example, third question is going to be, um, how was your experience with us, maybe? And then it's not going to be multiple choice. If you want it to be multiple choice, you can feel free to set this up. Um, but you can just make it a paragraph choice. Uh, and then they will be able to just go ahead and add their input and also make it required. And also we can do some more stuff. So for example, um, rates our services from one to 10. And then we can just go ahead and set this up to be linear scale. And what's really great about Google Forms, as you can notice, it is actually automatically going to set this up uh, from our text here. So, yeah. But if it does not, you can just go ahead and set it up as linear scale. And then you can just set it up so it is from 1 to whichever number that you actually want. So it's going to be 10 here. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and basically save it. And if you want to send it out to people or just get the link for it, you can just go ahead and click on send on the top right. And then you can just go to the uh, link option here, shorten it if you want, and then just copy the link and send it out to people. But I also highly recommend that you go through the settings uh, where you'll find a lot of settings that are useful with responses and all of those things. So if you don't want them to submit uh, more than one response or um, make sure that they actually log in feel free to set the these settings up uh, and if you want to check out the responses feel free to do so from this section right here so this is pretty much all there is to it so hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching